हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ओलम्पेडल जबरा प्रॉब्लम सो हियर वी हैव ए प्लस टू टू दी पावर ऑफ फोर प्लस ए प्लस वन टू दी पावर ऑफ फोर इक्वल्स टू सेवनटीन एंड वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए सो हियर आई कैन इंट्रोड्यूस अ वेरी यूनिक मेथड एंड इट इज़ वेरी डिफरेंट मैथड एंड आई होप सो यू वी लाइक दिस मैथड सो प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो एट द एंड सो हेयर the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to take here uh, our x equals to a plus 2 and we will take uh, y is equals to uh, a plus 1 okay so here uh, if we subtract this x and y so we have x minus y equals to a plus 2 minus a minus 1 so we have x minus y equals to 1 because this a is cancelled out by this a and 2 minus 1 becomes 1 we call this is our equation number 1 and here uh, if we move uh, our y to the right hand side it will becomes x equals to 1 plus y and we call this is our equation number 2 So now we need to substitute these two values in the given equation. So when we put a plus two equal x, a plus one equal y, so that our above equation is written as x to the power of four plus y to the power of four equals to seventeen, and we call this is our equation number three. So now here we need to move forward uh, this equation so that now first we can just uh, make the completing square of this equation. So you know that. Uh, if we have a plus b whole square, it is equals to a square uh, plus two times of a b plus b square. So here we uh, write this left hand side as this is x square. We write it as x four. We write it as x square and its whole square plus this is y four. We write it as y square and its whole square. and here in order to make the complete square of this equation uh, we need uh, this two times of ab term okay so that here uh, we will just add and subtract uh, two times of uh, x square into y square and plus two times of uh, x square into y square and this whole equals to 17 okay so now in the next step uh, we need to focus on these three terms uh, and here you have a square plus b square minus 2 times of ab so it will be written as uh, x square minus y square and its whole square plus this is over 2 times of x square and y square equals to 17 okay here we can apply the algebraic formula uh on the base of this term so x square minus y square equals to x minus y times of x plus y so this is the whole square so we can write this square separately on both of these terms and this will be written as 2 times of x square and y square and it is equals to 17 so here Uh, we will uh, use equation number one. So when you use equation number one, x minus y equals to one. So this term will be eliminated, and we have only x plus y whole square. So we will expand the square of this term, and it will be written as x square plus y square plus two times of x y, and plus this is over two times of uh, x square and y square. Okay. and this is whole equals to 17 so here we will uh, rewrite this two times of x y as x square plus y square we write this as minus 2 times of x y plus 4 times of x y because minus 2 plus 4 becomes plus 2 x y and this is over 2 times of x square and y square and this whole equals to 17 okay so further in the next step we need to focus on this term and we will complete the square of this term and it will be written as x minus y whole square plus we have 4 times of x y plus 2 times of x square y square equals to 17 so here we again use equation number 1 so that from equation number 1 we have x minus y equals to 1 so we put this value uh, in this equation Uh, and we will get 
uh, this will becomes 1 and plus 4 times of x y and plus 2 times of x square y square equals to 17 here we move this one to the right hand side and this equation is written as 4 times of x y plus 2 times of we write this term as x y whole square equals to 1 minus 17 minus 1 equals to 60 okay so here uh, we will just take uh, b is equals to x y so when you put b equals to x y so that our above equation is written as 4 b plus 2 times of b square and we move the 16 in the left hand side it will becomes minus 16 equals to 0 and now here uh, we need uh, to rearrange the terms and we write it as 2 times of b square plus 4b minus 16 equals to 0. So this equation will become a quadratic form, uh, quadratic equation. So that now first we need to divide each of these terms by 2. And it will, here you cancel this term. This is 2 times of 2 is 4. This is 2 times of 8 is 16. And we get b square plus 2b minus 8 equals to 0 so this is our quadratic equation in b variable uh, and now here we need to make the factors of this equation we will easily make the factors of this equation and its factors are uh, b square uh, and plus 4b minus 2b and minus 8 equals to 0 because 4 minus 2 is 2 4 times of 2 is minus 8 here we need to take common b and we get b plus 4 here we take common minus 2 and we get b plus 4 equals to 0 so further we need to take common b plus 4 from both of these terms and we get the remaining terms are b minus 2 equals to 0 so here we divide this into the two cases b plus 4 equals to 0 and b minus 2 equals to 0 so here we easily get the value of b is minus 4 and here we get the value of b is equals to 2 and now here we need to back substitute the value of b so we can put the value of b is equals to uh, x y so when you put it here it will becomes x y equals to minus 4 and here you have x y equals to 2 but when you move uh, more backward so uh, here we can use equation number 2 so in equation number 2 we have x is equals to 1 plus y so we need to substitute this x equals to 1 plus y it will be written as 1 times of 1 plus y equals to minus 4 and in this equation we have 1 plus y into y equals to 2 so here we need to solve these two simultaneous equations uh, in order to find the value of uh, x and y okay so here uh, we need to uh, multiply this term here so you get y plus y square and we move this minus 4 in the left hand side it will becomes plus 4 equals to 0 and here you get y plus y square minus 2 equals to 0 so when you rearrange the terms we will get y square plus y plus 4 equals to 0 when we rearrange this equation we will get y square plus y minus 2 equals to 0 so here because we solve this problem for the real values uh, of uh, a so in order to find the real solution the uh, first we check is this equation has a real solution or not uh, so that uh, uh, here first we need to uh, use the uh, discriminant formula in order to check the root of this equation so we write the coefficients of this equation are a equals to 1 b equals to 1 c equals to 4 and discriminant formula stated as b square minus 4 times of ac so here we need to substitute the values of a b c so this is 1 minus this is 16 so it will become minus 15 and here you see that our delta is less than 0 so we know that if delta is less than 0 it, it means that this equation has no real roots so if this equation has no real roots so that we rejected this case and we will just proceed here this case only okay because this equation not gives us the real root so we reject this one so here uh, in order to solve this we need to make the factors of this equation and its factors are uh, y square plus 2y minus y minus 2 
equals to 0 here we need to take common y and we get y plus 2 here we take common minus 1 we get y plus 2 equals to 0 so we take common y plus 2 and we will get y minus 1 equals to 0 so here uh, we have uh, we will just uh, write it as uh, y plus 2 equals to 0 and here you get y minus 1 equals to 0 so we get the value of y equals to minus 2 and here we get the value of y is equals to 1 so further we need to move more backward and we put the value of y here so we have the value of uh, uh, y is equals to a plus 1 so it will be written as a plus 1 equals to minus 2 and this will be written as a plus 1 equals to 1 so here we easily get the value of a is equals to minus 3 and here you get the value of a equals to 0. So these are the two values of a. This is the final answer. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.